Hello, what's going on YouTubers? How have you been coping with with your sh shitty lives respectively? Um, so in this video I'd just like to, you know, um, outline, you know, a few tips, a, a few tips about um, how to make some small in investment um, <coughs> some small in small in, in, in um, investments <coughs> based on your um, personal savings and uh, um, please do bear in mind that these tips I am about to 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 give you mainly applies to Aussies and possibly also Kiwis since you know I um I've never banked um you know in you know in countries other than Australia um <clears throat> you know you know, for the sake of, uh, you know, for the sake of honesty and uh, credibility, you know, that's why I said so. It mainly, you know, they, they mainly applies to, to, um, to Aussies who consider themselves, you know, brokies, brokies, you know, like I, and like, you know, multitudes of uh, so-called incels and mid-cows etc et so yeah let's say um for example you have an you know you you, you have um uh, an, an account with ANZ and you know it, it happens to bear the name of uh, you know progress saver account um, then you know um, all you need to do in order to receive some bonus interest is to deposit at least 10 or Australian dollars into the account e each month and and you know in the meantime make no withdrawals from that account and you will re receive some bonus interest based on you know the total amount um that your progress safe savers account already holds you know by the end or you know by the end of uh, a f f financial month um, when ANZ automatically calculates um, and ca and ca cashes, cashes out the in interests in total and they they will credit that amount of interest in combination with the bonus interest to your progress saver account with ANZ. Um, I, I, unless you um, I, unless you haven't um, you know done your due diligence to read you know their terms and conditions in details pertaining to ANZ's um, progress saver uh, uh, account. Please uh, allow me to read it aloud for you. Um, so, well, the main thing you need to know um, sits somewhere between, you know, page 53 and page um, 54, but mainly, you know, on page 53 of the uh, you know ANZ saving and transaction products 
terms and condition booklet. So, so here it goes. The account pays base credit interest and subject to eligibility, bonus credit interest, subject to section, um, sub <coughs> subject to section 2.18. We will credit the base interest and, if, applic if applicable, the bonus interest calculated in respect of each calendar month to your account on the last business day of that month. Well, so so ANZ actually uses calendar month instead of financial month. My bad. My, my bad. I beg your pardon for that mistake. Um, resuming, the base interest rate is tiered. Bonus interest will only be paid in respect of a particular calendar month where both of the following eligibility criteria are met. You have made at least one deposit of the set minimum amount, currently $10 or more, or more <coughs> that has been processed to your account on or before the last business day of that month and after the last business day of the previous month no withdrawals um, fees or charges have been processed to your account on on or before that on or before the last business day of that month and after the last business day of the previous month see sections 2.13 to 2.14a for details regarding circumstances in which they, there may be a difference between the processing and effective dates for transactions on your account, and our right to make an adjustment to your account balance in such circumstances. An adjustment in respect of a particular transaction will be calculated from the effective date of the transaction unless the effective date is earlier than the last business day of the month prior to the month during which the transaction was processed, in which case the adjustment will be calculated from that day. Interest in respect of a particular calendar month will generally be calculated on the basis of the period up to, but not including the last business day of that month, for and um, from and including the last business day of the previous month. Um, so, while a deposit on the last business day of a particular month will be taken into account in determining your eligibility for bonus interest in respect of that month, the deposit will not form part of any balance on which base or bonus interest is paid in respect of that month. Okay, so basically here it basically just says um, wh um, whether or not you deposit you know, a certain amount of money in, into your ANZ, you know, pro progress saver uh, account. It will not contribute, you know, to, um, you know, to, you know, to the, you know, to the total amount of, uh, you know, in um, interest you ought to receive, um, you know, based on the total amount of, uh, you know, money <laughs> that you know that 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 is already present in your in that progress savers uh, account you know that's how i take how i interpret these you know this um paragraph um <sighs> anyway please allow me to show you that um, you know, just for the sake of completeness. Um, is actually here, yeah. Take it or leave it, it is a a actually here, yeah. So, while a deposit on the last business day of a particular month will be taken into account in determining your eligibility for bonus interest in respect of that month, the deposit will not form part 
of any balance on which base or bonus interest is paid in respect of that month. Yeah, that's. Um, <coughs> Oops. So that's basically you know how I interpret you know that term you know <coughs> that term. So resuming the method of calculating interest set out above means that if you if your account is opened on the last business day of a particular calendar month, the first monthly interest paid the first monthly interest payment for your account will be the last business day of the next calendar month. Uh -huh. The first interest payment will comprise interest calculated from, from and including the day your account was opened up to, up to but not including the date of payment. In those circumstances, any deposit will, um, withdrawals, fees or charges processed to your account on that day is opened on that on the day it is opened are not taken into account in determining your eligibility for bonus interest in respect of the, your first monthly interest payment yeah <coughs> um so i suppose you know there's no need for me to you know to res you know to resume reading up to page um 54 of this booklet since um, I don't, you know, I, I don't reckon you know, it, it, it has, you know, um, much to do, you know, with, you know, the main topic of this filming session. Anyway, um, yeah. So there you have it. And uh, <clears throat> on the other hand, you know, I, um, I, I, I would like. To I would like to point out that um, regarding you know your ANZ um, check you know check account or the you know or the or the, the account um, <coughs> you um, you know you 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 you, um, you frequently use you know to um, <coughs> you know to um, to c carry out your, you know, your um, daily expenses or tra transactions, you know. Um, in um, in order to save yourself, you know, from getting charged, uh, you know, uh, you know, an account servicing fee, which um, usually, um, you know, costs. You know, five um, five yes five bucks um, monthly. You 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 just need to um, to um, to deposit at least um, two two thousand Australian dollars into that account on a monthly basis. And uh, bear in mind that you you know by the end of a a, a a calendar month um, when ANZ ought to charge you you know an account servicing fee you you don't actually have to have a, a total or, or, or a sum of two thousand bucks in, in that account that says you know you just need to make sure that you know your ANZ check account or blah 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 ha has re received a, a total of uh, two thousand dollars the um the deposit you know ca um po positive cash flow shown on on the statement so um there you have it you know you you you, you don't actually you know <laughs> i repeat you don't actually have to have two thousand dollars by the time anz needs to charge you an account servicing fee um you know monthly so
So, um, so in other words, you know, that's basically you know how you can you know live or, or feed on that um, small amount of bonus interest you earn monthly um, as a result of, of the fact that you um, you make at least ten dollars deposit into your ANZ Progress Saver account on the condition that you make no withdrawals from from ANZ Progress Saving Progress Saver account within such um, calendar month. So yeah, um, I, I I hope I have made my points clear so far, and uh, yeah, um, I shall do do my best to continue to make some more videos um, pertaining to the topic of uh, of uh, you know how to invest, you know how how to generates a bit of a uh, you know so-called uh, passive income slash how to make your money even just a handful amount work for you while you sleep um yeah so thank you very much for watching and listening and i i wish you all a, 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 a wonderful and lovely day cheers until next time.